Now the start for Lady Trophies. Number two, Sierra Halley. Number four, Miley Grove. Number 12, Jocelyn Walker. Number 32, Sydney King. Number 34, Madison Beard. And now the start for your Pioneer Panthers. Number 10, McKenna Stricker. Number 20, Mia McKay. Number 21, Casey Hathaway. Number 22, Lois Lair. Number 23, Julie McDrew. All right, there are your starters for Triton. It's going to be Sierra Howley, Miley Groves, Jocelyn Faulkner, Sydney King, and Addison Veers. For the Panthers, McKenna Stricker, Mia McKaig, Kenzie Hathaway, Lois Lair, and Julia McGrew to start things off. It's going to be Hathaway going up against Veers. I'm guessing that uh, might be a little bit of an advantage here for the Trojans on the tip. Veers... Stands about 6'1", I believe. They don't have the heights listed, but uh, she's definitely the tallest girl on the floor here tonight. And the tip is up and underway, and the Trojans control. Groves up top, gets it over Holly. That 2-3 zone here for the Panthers. That one's tipped and stolen by Stricker from Faulkner. So a turnover for the Trojans right out of the gate. Looking like it's, uh, well, it looks like they might be in a 3-2. And Veers gets the steal on the other end. And Veers puts it in. First points of the game go to Addison Veers. Trojans lead 2-0. Get it in to McGrew going up against... King. Kick it out. McKaig, three pointer. Good. Mia McKaig. That is a good sign to see her hit her first shot of the game. And the Panthers back in front here, three to two. In and out for Faulkner. Good rebound there by Hathaway for the Panthers. Push up ahead to Lois Lair. Lair, and she's going to be fouled by Howley, her first team's first. And that will send Lois Lair to the free throw line, shooting two. Panthers lead 3-2, 6.05 to go. First one off the mark for the freshman, Lois Lair. Her cousin, Haley Kripe, sitting on the far side, home from Kansas. Lair misses both, and the rebound to Veers. Score remains 3-2. Blocked by Stricker, Veers going up for the 15-footer. Stricker with a clean block. Reversal over to Lair, back up top. McGrew, Stricker, three-pointer left wing. Right on line, just a little short. Offensive rebound, though, is picked up by McKaig. McGrew shot off the mark, and the rebound to King. So a couple opportunities there for the Panthers not able to capitalize on three to two as we approach five minutes to go here in this first period. Go, 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 
Shot rims in and out, and that's going to be last touched by the Trojans. Panthers ball. Stricker brings it across the timeline. Might be a 1-2-2, two, 3-2 two, two look. It's kind of for the Trojans. Got that high pressure there on the top of the key. Nice pass into Kinsey Hathaway. Hathaway puts it in, assist Stricker. Good drive and kick there by Stricker, and it's 5-2 now in favor of the Panthers. King three-pointer right wing, long rebound McGrew. One and done as uh, they kick it up ahead. The layer, oh, nice job. She splits the defenders, but she loses control of it. Second turnover for the Panthers. Halfway through this first period, they lead 5-2. to two. Three-pointer way off the mark there for Faulkner. And the rebound to McGrew. Stricker kicks it out. Long on the shot is McKaig. And that outlet pass from Veers goes nowhere. As, uh, looks like uh, Groves was starting to head up floor. And Veers was trying to find her for an outlet, and nobody was home. So a turnover for the Trojans. Two turnovers apiece here for both teams. Keg, right wing. And Stricker takes it in for two. Nice play there by Stricker. And a travel called on Howley. So the third turnover here. Coming in is going to be Webb, Casey Webb, the senior, checking into the game for McGrew. 2.46 to go here in this first period. 7-2, Pioneer in front. Webb loses it. Faulkner picks it up, off the mark, rebound. Shot no good by Groves, and Stricker gets the rebound for the Panthers. Stricker shot off the mark. King with the rebound. And a nice reverse layup there by Groves. Puts that one in for two. 7-4. Pioneer in front, approaching two minutes to go here in this first period. That one is poked away by Groves. King on the right wing, looking for the ball reversal. They get it into Veers. Veers splits two defenders, and she's going to go to the free throw line. Let's see who they get on the foul. Be the first team foul on Pioneer, and that's going to be the first on Kenzie Hathaway. And that will send the senior, Addison Veers, to the free throw line, shooting two. A minute 33 left here in the first period, and she is good on the first. Cuts that Panther lead down to two. And one more free throw coming here for Veers. And she converts on both. Panthers lead 7-6, minute 30 to go here in the first period. Stricker brings it across the timeline. Faulkner up on her. I'm going to call this a 1-2-2. 
Nice pass in. Veers, I think, had an effect on that shot from Webb. She saw the long arm of the law coming to her and didn't really get a good shot off. Trojans have a chance to take the lead. Stricker knocks it away, and Layer comes up with it. Turnover, Trojans. Good pass up. Stricker in for two assist. Lois Layer. That was a great play there. Layer up ahead. Stricker puts it in with the left hand, and the Panthers back out in front by three. Shot off the mark. Faulkner, though, rips down the board. She just out-muscled the Panthers on that one, puts that in for two. Panthers back to within one. Or the uh, Trojans back to within one of the Panthers. Nadia Stel Stetler, number 23, is checked into the game. That one's knocked away, so a turnover, but that's going to be the end of the first. And the Panthers are lead 9-8 here after one from the cage. We'll take a break, come back, and get ready for second quarter action in just a moment here on RTC TV4. McKaig, Webb, Stricker, Hathaway, and Layer starting us off here in the second period for the Panthers. High ball screen from Hathaway. Kicks it over to Webb. Stricker to Webb. Back to the corner. McKaig. That shot's blocked by Veers. Webb, though, gets the loose ball. Layer, left wing, three, long. Stricker can't get the rebound. King corrals that one for the Trojans. Holly brings it across the timeline. Down to Veers, baseline three. No good for Addison Veers. And that's going to be out of bounds off of Groves. That will be Pioneer Ball. Panthers lead 9-8, 7-0-5 to go here in the first half. Webb almost gets that one to go, and it's going to be last touched by Triton. So it'll be Pioneer Ball. Stricker will trigger here on the left baseline for the Panthers. Keg surveys the floor, gets it out. Layer going to reset the offense here for the Panthers. Get it in to Hathaway. Hathaway going up against Veers. Nice defense there by Veers. She gets the rebound. Panthers reset the defense. King into Veers with McKeg on her. Good defense there by McKeg. Veers misses the shot. McKeg gets the rebound. Stricker lowers the shoulder. Uh, she's got to get at least one of those a game, I guess. So that is the first foul on the Panthers here in the quarter. First foul on Stricker. Shot off the mark. Good rebound there by Casey Webb. Rips that one down. Stricker up ahead. And that's going to be a foul as Layer is going to go back to the free throw line to shoot two. And that will be the first on Addison Veers, team's first of the quarter. 
put Lois Lair back at the free throw line. She was 0 for 2 her first trip, but she makes the first on this one. McGrew going to check back in for McKeg. Second free throw is good as well. So Lair has two, the lead back up to three for the Panthers. Shot way off the mark by Groves. Stricker, three-pointer off the mark. And it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be Triton Ball. So Trojans bring it across here. Just under five minutes to go in this first half. Three-point lead for the Panthers. Faulkner drives baseline, kicks it back out. Three-pointer is good for Groves. And that ties us at 11. Groves has five for the Trojans. And Hathaway is going to get called three seconds. McCaig is going to come in for Lair. Coming in for the Trojans is number 24, Avery Veers, the younger sister of Addison. Shot off the mark. We've got an offensive rebound by... Howley, she puts it in and the bucket. That's going to be on Stricker. Her second shot no good. And a jump ball is going to go to the Trojans. Runner no good for Howley. Rebound to McKeg or McGrew. Gets it over to McKeg. McGrew takes it to the bucket, and she's going to get fouled. That will send her to the free throw line. First time this evening. That is going to be the first on Avery Veers. And McGrew hits the first. Pulls the Panthers back to within one. Veers is going to come back out. Avery Veers is going to come back out. They're going to say McGrew went over the line, so the basket does not count. So the Trojans stay in front by one. 13-12 with 3.18 to go here in the first half. Howley, three-pointer off the mark. King with the offensive glass. Shot no good. Howley comes in and gets it over to McKeg. I think she got uh, caught that ball wrong with her finger, maybe uh, jammed that finger a little bit. we got a foul coming up here on 
Groves. Their team foul on Triton. Jump ball, that will stay Pioneer ball. Nice pass, and good defense there by Faulkner. It's going to be a jump ball call, and that will go over to the Trojans. Triton with the ball back here with 2.44 to go in this first half. Beers, three-pointer long, rebound McKeg. Okay, gets it up to Layer. Trying to get it in to Hathaway. It's going to be another jump ball. That will stay Panthers ball on the jump. Get it in the web. Oh, nice take. McKeg can't get it to go, though. She went right at Veers. Unfortunately, not able to get it to go. Veers was trying to take the charge. No call either way. And Veers goes bowling right into the lane. And I guess they're going to say that the Panthers weren't set on that one. And they're going to give the foul to Casey Webb, sending Addison Veers to the free throw line, shooting two. Both teams with three fouls here in this quarter. Veers and off on the first. So number 40, Hannah Ziegler. Going to check into the game for McGrew. 5'10", sophomore. Veers 1-4-2 from the line. Two-point lead now for the Trojans. Minute 40 to go here in the first half. And that shot is blocked. A little bit of a height disparity there. Veers with uh, lowest layer. Veers gets the better of that one. Boy, almost a travel there on the Trojans as we approach a minute to go here in the first half. King has it on the right wing, kicks it back up to Holly, over to Groves, left wing three by Groves, off the mark, no good. Rebound, and Lois Lair has it. Lair running down the floor. Faulkner, no call on that play, and the rebound to Holly. Quickly up ahead, Veers runs the floor and puts it in for two. Sure, how there wasn't a call there on that play with Faulkner and uh, with uh, Layer. Ziegler gets the rebound, can't get it to go on the putback. And Veers pulls up from 10. Four straight now for Veers. That lead is up to six for the Trojans with 12 seconds to go here in the first half. Three-pointer on the way, no good. That'll do it here for the first half. 18-12, Panthers trail.
the Triton Trojans here at the half. We'll take a break, come back, and give you some stats and get ready for the second half of action here from Pioneer High School in just a moment. And there is Lair getting into the passing lane. Good start and a foul. Going to be on Howley, her second foul. Team's first, and that's going to send Lair to the free throw line. Shooting two. So two for four for Lois Lair. No good on the first. One more coming here for the freshman. No good on the second as well. Poked away from behind by Stricker, and we're going to have a jump ball. And that will go over to the Panthers on the jump. It's a turnover on the Trojans. So a pair of turnovers for Triton to start off the half. We'll see if the Panthers can capitalize here and cut into this six-point lead. Nice pass from Stricker to Hathaway. Oh, in and out. Boy, that was a nice pass. Hathaway, that thing was three-quarters of the way in for Kinsey. And a good drive, and that was Howley with the bucket. So despite a couple good opportunities here for the Panthers, the Trojans are actually able to extend that lead up to eight now. Largest lead of the game for the Trojans. That one is blocked by Veers. McGrew, though, steals it back and double dribbles. So a pair of turnovers. Ball goes back over to the Trojans with 6.36 to go here in this third quarter. Panthers looking good here on the defensive end, just not able to put any buckets in yet. There's a three-pointer, and that is good for Veers. Extending that lead out to nine, or 11. Nice cut, layer. King, though, gets a hand on it. Panthers uh, getting to the basket, but the size of the Triton Trojans inside with King and Veers really having an effect on their shots. That's going to be on Lair, her first team's first Stricker steals that one away pass in the layer and the layup is good for Lois Layer off of the steal Stricker with the steal and the assist Going to be a foul on Stricker. That will be her third. Pretty good defense there until she decided to reach in. Twenty-three, fourteen. Trojans in front here in the third. King turnaround jumper is good. That is her first points of the game. Nice turnaround jumper there for King. King gets a hand on that pass. Back over cross court to McGrew to uh, McKeg. McKeg loses it. Another turnover here for the Panthers. Howley. Faulkner with the rebound put back for the Trojans. And 
And jump ball will go to Triton. I said this first uh, half of this third quarter was going to be critical, and Pioneer playing really well, just not able to get those shots to go in. And for Triton, they have uh, they have dropped everything, and they are now up by 13. As we approach four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Layer three-pointer from the left wing, no good. Rebound, last touched by Veers. And we got a foul coming up on Groves, her second. Uh, only the second foul on Triton here. Turnover for the Panthers. And steal there by McGrew. Good rebound there by Hathaway. Nice pass from Stricker to Webb. Can't get it to go. Rebound. And we got a jump ball. That will stay Pioneer's ball. Panthers. 25, Jocelyn Kane comes into the game. For the Panthers. They are able to get the ball back there. Stricker gets it over to Kane. Kane out to McGrew, just inside 18-footer. And another jump ball. The ball will go over to the Trojans. Casey Webb going to check back in for McGrew. Foul coming on Pioneer. That will be on Casey Webb. That is number two on Casey, number three on the team here in the quarter. Veers, nice job saving that. Howley able to come up with it. That one in and out for Stetler. And we got a foul coming on Nadia Stetler, her first. Team's third. Avery Veers checking back in for Groves. Tipped away. Kane comes up with it. Layer gets called for the carry. Turnover number five here by the Panthers in this quarter. 12 for the game for Pioneer. Still a 13 point lead here for the Trojans. Panthers extending that 2 3 up here with Layer and Kane. 
Layer outworks the Panthers, and it's going to be a foul coming here on Stetler. Foul number four on the team. Foul number two on Stetler. Keg back in for Hathaway. Stricker misses the shot. Kane with the rebound. That's going to be kicked by Kane. It will be Trojan's ball. Faulkner puts it in for two. Lead is 15 for the Trojans. Webb with the rebound, kicks it over to Kane. Kane high off the glass for two. Got a 30-second timeout called by the Panthers. We'll keep it here. Trying 29, Pioneer 16. The two freshmen scoring all four of the points here for Pioneer in this third period. Balance scoring for Triton. Holly with two, Faulkner with four, King with two, and Veers with three. Veers leading the way with 12 points for the evening. So 47 seconds to go here in this third period. Trojans leading by 13. Ball was kicked by Kane. Poked away, but it's going to be last touched by the Panthers. So be Triton inbounds on their baseline under their basket with 38 seconds to go here in this third quarter. Got a three second call on Avery Veers. Coach Kroll not going to be happy with the turnovers by the Trojans here in this third quarter, even though they've extended this lead out. They have seven turnovers here in this quarter alone. Kane with three seconds and no good. That will do it here for the third quarter. Say that was off of Pioneer, so a turnover here to start the fourth quarter. Gives the ball back over to the Trojans. Poked away by Kane, no over and back.
stands. Get the ball. Move the camera. Poked away. King comes up with that loose ball. Kane drives to the basket. Veers comes up uh, limping there off of that rebound. Goes out of bounds, so a turnover for the Trojans. Gives the ball back over to the Panthers. Shot blocked. Kane, though, pokes it out of bounds. It will stay Triton ball. But the shot uh, blocked by Veers. Stricker needed to just turn and go up with that instead of putting the ball on the floor. Gave Veers a chance to recover defensively. And there's Veers putting that one in from 10 on the baseline. 4-2. 14 now for Addison Veers. Kane three-pointer, no good. And that one's going to be out off of the Panthers. Webb shaking up there on that play. She's going to have to go out. So Hathaway comes in for Webb. A little full court pressure here by the Panthers. Veers handles it all the way down to the baseline. Goes up strong. Gets her own rebound, and she's going to go foul to go to the line to shoot two. That foul will be on McGrew. Her first. Teams first. Free throw is good for Veers. One more coming for the senior. And she converts on the second one as well, 33-16. Hathaway shot off the mark, veers with the rebound. King hits it from 15. Stricker misses but gets her own rebound. Foul coming here on Stricker, probably. Well, they're going to get Mia McKig on the foul, her first. Huh. Way too easy there. Faulkner gets free. Easy bucket there on the inbounds. Panthers fell asleep. It's 
Stricker off on that shot. Trojans call a timeout. 4.35 left to go in the ball game. A little give and go, and the bucket is good for Howley. And Howley knocks it out of bounds, almost gets the turnover on the other side. Ziegler going to come in for Hathaway. And into Ziegler for two. And a Ziegler with her first points of the evening. Got a jump ball. That's going to go back over to the Panthers. Oh, I had that wrong, I guess. Stay Triton ball. The Panthers will get the next one. And that one will go over to the Panthers. McGrew checks back in, 3.47 to go. And a travel called on McGrew. Kane and Hathaway coming in here for the defensive end. Stricker. Third on Howley. Second on Triton. Rebound, McKaig for two. Shot off the mark, rebound to Hathaway. McCaig three-pointer short. Faulkner gets the rebound. Veers, point center, brings it across the timeline. Boy, she can do everything out there for the Trojans. Handles the ball. Runner no good for Veers. Stricker gets the rebound. Stolen by Howley, and she puts it in for two. Yeah. 
And call that foul on Howley. I can say before the shot. Her fourth. Kane gets blocked by Avery Veers. Howley misses the layup on the other end. Good defense there by McKeg. Back out to McKeg. Shot off the mark. Rebound, though, to Layer. Stricker three pointer, no good. Rebound, jump ball, it will be Triton's ball. Minute 11 to go. Stricker's going to come out, and McKeg's going to come out, and Ziegler and McGrew will check in with a minute 11 left. And Coach Crawl calls a timeout right with one minute to go here in the ball game. Triton ball, a little under a minute to go here in this one. Trojans is going to pick up the win here tonight, move to 4-10. and ten. Even their record in the conference at 2-2 two and two with this win. For the Panthers, they're going to drop to 3-8, and 0-5 oh in the conference. They'll have another game coming up on Monday as they head to Frankfurt. See if they can pick up a win against the Owen. I don't know how many games they've played. Ten, I think, Frankfurt Hot Dogs here on Monday. Hard-fought game here by the Tro uh, the uh, Panthers. Just trying to able to put the ball in the basket, and Pioneer really struggled after that first quarter, scoring nine. Uh, they've scored three, four, and four in the following quarters. Just haven't been able to put the ball in the basket here tonight, unfortunately. But nothing to hang your head about if you're the Pioneer Panthers. Rough, rough one for Pioneer, but they uh, they need to keep their heads up here tonight. As the final, the Panthers lose 41 to 20.